lovers out there. The last time I did a video showing you how to do a line on a computer. This time I'm going to paint the character that I did the line on. Check it out. So I start by separating my line, one above, one below, and I paint in between them. And I'm starting with my face, a basic color for my face. And I'll do a basic color for every section. My face, my shirt, my glasses, and so on. Then I clean up outside of that line. And I'll make an adjustment in the tone of my color. Then I begin to paint my shirt. And as a way to speed up the painting around my shirt, I put a marquee around the line, which helps me isolate the shirt off to allow me to go through it quicker. Of course, the marquee prevents me from painting directly on the line. And I need to go back and make adjustments for that. Then I do my glasses, my eyes, And now I'm cleaning up areas underneath that marquee line that were not painted well. When I finish cleaning up, I'm going to work on some hair texture that I drew in but I forgot to record. And start painting in the solid color for the hair. And I'll do a transparency percentage, which will allow the hair texture to show through. I'm cleaning up my glasses a little more before I go to that transparency. I'm isolating off my eye color with the marquee tool in order to make an adjustment using a hue saturation color slider. And I do the same thing on my lips because I want to make an adjustment using hue saturation. And then I clean up afterwards. I repeat the same thing again to give myself a shadow under my nose using only flat color for the time being. Now I'm going to do flat color in the shadow areas of my shirt and from there I will start doing dimensional rendering with the airbrush approach. I've decided to have the light coming from the left toward the right casting the shadow on the right side of everything. So it's important to know what direction of light you want to work with. The fun of computer is that as I painted the light, I can shift them if they're not exactly where I want them to be using the move tool or the warp tool. And I brighten them up some. I mix a few more color shifts in my shirt. cooling it down a little bit, adding a slight blue touch. Now I'm going to clean up my glasses and give a shadow side to it. Here I create a darker layer mass and erase out unwanted areas, which becomes the shadowing for my face. 
and I shift the colors a little bit and brighten it up so that it has a strong sense of light and shadow. Now I'm doing a layers mask for my hair and I brighten it up and erase out the unwanted bright areas and leave just enough so it looks like light is hitting my hair and there's a shadow side. Now I want to give more shadowing underneath my nose Eventually, I'll give a little more nostril, and I'll work on my lips to give a light and shadow side to that as well, with a shift in color. Then I have a few spots to clean up, a few mistakes that I didn't see before, and shifting my face color some. This is where I paint in the nostrils. I'll add a little more detail to my lips. Bring out some highlights. It's amazing to me how highlights add more dimensionality. Now I give a light area to my beard and mustache by marking it off and painting that in. Now I give highlights to my glasses Make the line a straight across and use the warp tool to put it in place. Marquee it off to make it easier to paint some of those in. One of the things I like doing is giving reflective light because it gives more dimensionality and extra color interest. In this case, I'm using cooler reflective light because my face is more overall warm. So it makes for a good visual balance. My glasses are calling for a darker spot to push back one portion of it. Now I'll work on my eyes. I'll give myself a pupil in the dark area, erase some of that out. I put some shadowing on my iris, trying to give it some dimension. Then I'll come in and give some shadow to the white part of my eye. Clean that up. Now I'm giving myself a, a lip to the lower eyelid. Give some dimensionality there. Put in a highlights in the eye. Love those highlights. Give dimensionality, checking things that I might need to clean up. Darken the upper eyelids a little more. A little bit of shadowing on my wrinkles. Not too heavy. then a light side to my wrinkles. It's 
soften some of that edge a little bit. Putting a little more shadowing under my nose for dimensionality, as well as on my lips. some shadows on my glasses and I'm adding a little more shadowing under my nose to help it feel more anchored to my face and I painted an additional background which I forgot to record and here's the finish I hope that was helpful see you next time